Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good. Today I am going to explain performance analytics breakdowns. So, what is perform? What are the performance analytics breakdown? How we can configure it? So let's see. Our agenda. What is breakdown? Okay. What is breakdown source? And demo practical. Okay. So it's like uh, what is a breakdown and how we can create a breakdown, how we can create a breakdown source, how we can associate a, a breakdown and uh, breakdown source uh, with um, uh, indicators. So all these things, how we will see, okay. So the first one is breakdown. What is breakdown? A breakdown offers a deeper data insight by letting you analyze indicator trends by specific attributes. Okay. An example is a number of open incidents trend by category. Okay. For example, this is an example. For example, um, we have a number of open incidents. You see here uh, the graph you can see. Okay. So the number of open incidents, okay, but we don't know uh, exactly. Like if you want to uh, break down by category or priority, for example, um, P1 critical incidents, how many are there? For a low incidents, how many are there? Or uh, for a software categories, how many are there? So how do we know? So then we have to apply some breakdown. Okay, breakdown is nothing but a deeper uh, data inside by letting you analyze indicator trend by a specific attribute. For example, this is the number of uh, open incidents by you know category. So you can see uh, software. Okay, uh, software color. Okay, you have more software tickets here. Okay. So like that, we can identify, uh, we can uh, identify the indicator by uh, different different categories or by different attributes, okay? And uh, breakdown source, what is breakdown source? How uh, we use this breakdown source? You know, to create a breakdown and to map the breakdown uh, uh, within an indicator, we need to create a breakdown source. What is breakdown source? A breakdown source defines the element by which you can group or analyze the indicator data. Okay, so uh, so most of the people will not understand by definitions, but uh, if you go inside. Uh, the diagram or anything so you will get to know okay so a breakdown source is based on a facts table okay facts table is nothing but a process table and a filter condition okay and a breakdown source identify unique breakdown element usually using the societies okay using the societies so a breakdown uh, sources should have an unique values breakdown elements okay so if not if you have duplicate breakdown elements then it is very difficult to get data okay example incident category okay let's see how we will uh, see the incident category okay so you can see here um, you can you can see here you can see the incident category here is the breakdown source okay and the facts table is choice okay uh, facts table is choice but in the choice how we will identify uh, as a unique using society society will be a unique value okay together facts table and field uniquely identify breakdown elements and you have to identify the condition helps identify specific in the facts table for example uh, you want incident okay in incident and um, uh, element is category okay and the language is en so all these categories you need okay so that unique breakdown element incident category okay so all this we will get as a choice okay so the next breakdown mapping Breakdown mapping is nothing but how you map uh, the breakdown which you created with a 
indicator how uh, for example here incident category we created a breakdown source okay how we will map incident category with an indicator that is called a breakdown mapping okay a breakdown mapping enables the association between a breakdown and indicator by mapping the breakdown source field to the corresponding reference field of the indicator okay so that's about this definition okay and demo okay so i think uh, most of the people will not understand how we create breakdown source how we will create a breakdown mapping all these things okay so by creating by uh, doing some practical demo you will get to understand okay now let's log into our instance and see create some breakdown mapping and uh, breakdown and breakdown mapping okay all those informations okay let's see and um, see, uh, go to performance analytics module. Performance analytics module. So we are using this module spent frequently. So that's why we, I will make uh, as a favorite. Okay, top level default. Okay, done. Yes. Okay, so now. Um, so uh, for the example, uh, we will open any indicators. Okay. Uh, and indicators. So here, what indicators we have? Um, we have, let's see, let's see indicators with incident. Incident. Okay, a number of incident not solved, a number of incident resolved on same open day, number of new incident. Okay, or uh, no. So we will um, number of open incidents. Okay, let's take this one. Number of open incidents. So, um, so we will add one uh, matrix, one uh, uh, one breakdown here. Okay, we will create one new breakdown and let's see. See here, uh, for example, show analytical hub. Okay, show analytical hub. And we don't have any uh, data here. Okay, so let's go back. Go back and run the job, okay? PA historical data, we need to run the job. Okay, here you can see exclude these breakdowns are some there, but we will check what, what are those, all these things, okay? So let's see, historical data, okay? Let's collect historical data. We will add a temporary data, zero, on demand, and and let's see be a historical temporary historical data we will create some temporary historical data okay temp historical data collection okay so because we will we are not going to run all these um, incidents okay all these breakdown all these indicators okay so we will create our uh, new insert and stay temporary historical data from 60 to zero till okay 60 days to uh, zero okay system administrator okay okay so indicator is number of open incident okay we will select indicator is number of open incident number of open incidents okay so save it so save it so execute now okay execute now so after executing, generally you will look into the job logs collecting. It is collecting, okay, from all the uh, 60 days, it is collecting everything, okay, everything it is collecting. 
including if you see uh, here in the correction period in the correction breakdown matrix it will collect the breakdown matrix the existing breakdown matrix what all the breakdowns we have priority we have category assignment group state age so all these are uh, okay uh, so breakdown mapping okay so so it is collected now go to indicator and click on show an article hub show an article hub you see the count today at okay number of open today 40 incidents are there okay so if you sum up with seven running sum okay so then the total incident is uh, till today is 280 so for seven days incident okay here you can have this is the breakdown okay so you can apply priority okay critical mapping okay or something critical okay critical you have all these things priority mapping okay so how many are there okay at the same time category 126 category are there okay so category is inquiry help okay so if you uh, apply for category so you can see the categories okay how many categories are there assignment group state age age 90 days okay or something like that and also uh, you can add 90 days priority critical one how many incidents are there it's color matrix breakdown matrix okay so uh, but if you if you are selecting for example if i remove priority one and age equal to 90 days and category uh, inquiry help so you can see the matrix okay but uh, age and uh, assignment group unassigned so you have uh, you have the correction matrix okay so all these are collected okay during this uh, run job okay so now for example we will create a new breakdown okay new breakdown what we can create a new breakdown we have priority category assignment group state uh, and age so all the breakdowns are there most of the thing but go to any incident okay and let's show record and let's open anything okay so on what we have to break down we have to do some breakdown analysis okay so maybe uh, maybe on subcategory okay so let's go to incident incident okay open incident which are not closed okay incident all incident that subcategory also okay sub category okay uh, add subcategory category subcategory okay okay which are new which are state new okay so you see only few are having uh, new or which are not resolved state is one state is one of and in progress on hold which are not resolved all 40 you have okay so 40 you have um so for now we will add category uh, some antivirus subcategories okay and email we will add some categories or uh, subcategories but the previous incidents will be it's like it will not have any data okay so uh, number of open incidents let's remain the unassigned ones okay in uh, internal uh, applications okay something like that and the category inquiry help okay something like that so now we will create this um, uh, a breakdown on subcategory okay a breakdown on subcategory so before we create go to breakdown okay in the performance analytics we have breakdown automated breakdown manual breakdown breakdown relation bucket groups element filters all these are there okay so this is breakdown source okay so there are two ways to create a breakdowns 
OK, so that will go to here breakdown and create a create new breakdown. OK, click on create new here. You need to select breakdown source. OK, indicator you need to select. OK, select the breakdown source. OK, um, we, we are selecting number of. Uh, number of. Open incidents. Open incidents. So and uh, what field you want to create uh, category subcategory. Subcategory and click on next. OK, so breakdown is subcategory breakdown those incident subcategory breakdown mapping incident subcategory. OK, preview records for this breakdown source. How many records we have? It will show. OK, incident uh, uh, subcategory. We have all these all these uh, 19 or their subcategories. OK, 19 subcategories are there. Let's close it. Close it. Show filter to make adjustment. So if you want to adjust something, you can adjust. OK, so table. Uh, sub, uh, OK. OK, so if you want to adjust, you can adjust and then click on it next. So link to the indicators to which indicators you want. OK, for now we will link to only number of open incidents. OK, click on next. Collect the data from last seven days or 30 days. OK, or 90 days. OK, 30 days will OK. OK, next. OK, so here create this breakdown. Create this breakdown source, breakdown mapping, indicator to which indicator, which data you need to collect. Everything will be applied automatically. OK, click on apply. This is easy. This is an easy wizard. OK, so. So now uh, subcategory is oh, uh, created. OK, breakdown is created. Now go to the indicator. Go to the and go to the indicator. OK, so click on this uh, edit indicator. Edit indicator. Edit indicator. You have subcategory now. OK, now anyhow we collected the data. So now show matching. OK, show matching and see subcategory we have subcategory email five. Email five. It is already created. OK, subcategory email and category. Subcategory email and software. How many are there? How many are there? Zero, one incident, or something like that. Okay. So now you have a breakdown matrix with the subcategory, with the subcategory and all these things for age, state, everything. For example, if you don't want mm, uh, the matrix, like for example, sub, you want only sub. Mm, uh, subcategory and category matrix. I don't want subcategory and part matrix, subcategory and assignment group matrix. All these things I don't want to show. So then what, how you will do it? So go to the indicator, edit indicator. Edit indicator. Okay. So here what you will do is manage breakdown. Click on manage breakdown. Okay. Manage breakdown. So now uh now you see uh, age category subcategory everything here you can click configure breakdown matrix okay configure breakdown matrix click on configure so if you don't want um subcategory with age okay uncheck subcategory with assignment group uncheck subcategory with priority uncheck subcategory with state uncheck so now you will have only these matrix subcategory and and category that's it okay and close it so now you see you reduce the matrix count okay so choose only uh, whatever is required okay whatever the matrix is required if you are choosing all the matrix then the performance uh, it takes longer time to run okay it takes some uh, huge amount of data or performance issues will come okay so select what the matrix you need okay then go back then go back so uh, when you are running, collect uh, breakdown matrix and run the uh, run the jobs. 
okay run the like a temporary job for uh, you can see uh, exclude these breakdowns are created okay um exclude these breakdowns are created because we adjust the breakdown matrix right so if you open this one temporary jobs when you're collecting the uh, subcategory information okay subcategory information uh, no open this record see exclude breakdowns you are excluding uh, breakdowns priority state assignment group but uh, we are not excluding uh, okay these we are excluding from collection of jobs okay sorry exclude these breakdowns from collection of jobs okay so because it is automatically created right so that's the reason and uh, breakdown matrix if i open subcategory Okay. Here you see, um, uh, here this is automated, but I will show you how we can um, create this uh, in manually without uh, uh, Wichard. Okay. I will show you in some time. Okay. So let's see. So now oh, run the job again, run this job, okay? So exclude only, uh, it will exclude temporary, it will run, okay? It will run the number of open incidents to collect the data, but it will exclude the remaining, uh, uh, the remaining things, okay? So execute now. Okay, it's corrected. Okay, so now go to show analytical hub. So when you click on category, you will show, you will see in uh, category and subcategory. Okay, but um, when you click on subcategory, you will see only category. Okay, because uh, we eliminated the matrix. Okay, we eliminated the matrix for subcategory for all the remaining uh, um, remaining breakdowns. So only subcategory and category matrix we have added. So that's the reason we can see only these two. Okay, so that's why we will add uh, the matrices here. Okay, that's why we will add the matrices. So manage breakdown. Okay, manage breakdown. So then you can configure the breakdown matrix, what all the matrix you need. Okay, what all the combination you want to select the matrix. Okay, if you don't want any matrix, or we just want only one uh, uh, data. Okay, only a one breakdown. Okay, if you then when you are running the job, just uncheck this collect collect uh, breakdown matrix and run it then uh, it will run and uh, you will not have any matrix whenever uh, you will like you can select only subcategory or priority or category or assignment group or state anything okay only those things okay so you will not get any matrices okay so let's say out it okay now this all we done in an automated way like just we created everything we set up okay uh, from the create new breakdown matrix okay so now again i will create one more matrix called urgency okay on urgency we will create okay so for that what we will do is we will create one more breakdown from uh, now we are not going to use create new now in a different uh, approach we are going to use okay so go to the sources breakdown sources okay select choices table check you have any agency okay any agency agency Okay, you already have incident dot agency as a choice. Okay, 
as a choice. You see here, incident urgency you have. Okay, uh, now let's see channel. Okay, let's see channel we will create. Okay, uh, let's see channels are there or not. Okay, okay, some of the incident they have channel and some of the incidents that they are not having channel. Okay, we will create a breakdown matrix with channel. Okay. Uh, so so what we will do is go to breakdown source, search with channel. See a channel. We don't have any channel uh, uh, thing, okay? So let's remove the fax table is choice, okay? Nothing. So now I will create a breakdown source, breakdown, okay, for channel, okay? How many incidents are created? Number of open incidents from channel, okay? So let's see. So let's me create a new breakdown source. Okay, so uh, what is that a channel? Okay, so here uh, we are creating incident channel. So better name it clearly like incident dot channel. C H A N N E L channel. Okay, so what is source table? A source table is a choice table. Okay, choice table is a choice table because all these choices, this is choices, right? So all these are choices. Okay, um, CHOIC choice, choice table, which, oh, how do I identify in the choice uh, as a unique? Only with the society I can identify that is unique. Okay. Now in the chip side, okay, so the element is, so if you open six underscore choice table, six underscore CHOIC choice dot list. Okay, so here, um, what is the channel, right? CHNNEL channel. Okay, so what is the field name is? uh contact type okay so the field type is contact type the contact type you have okay and the incident so show matching on the contact type and incident show matching and english show matching so all these are like unique values seven you have okay so let's uh Go to incident record element is element is contact type and table is incident incident okay and language language is en en and what else so inactive okay I want inactive only false negative false okay those six and inactive is false so preview the condition how many six conditions label for unmatched unmatched like un uh un ssig and unassigned okay something you will find unassigned and submit it save it we created a breakdown source. Okay, now we will create a breakdown. Okay, that is called automated breakdown. Okay, click on new, click on new. So automatically breakdown source is coming. Okay, so now um, our breakdown is incident dot CHNNEL channel. Okay, channel, incident dot channel. Okay, save it, save it automated so breakdown mapping here you can add breakdown mapping okay or um, there is a way to do another breakdown mapping also that i will show you later okay so for example breakdown mappings new 
new okay so how you want like on incident table incident table okay you have called channel or channel okay so this is how you are mapping breakdown mapping incident table channel so incident channel and this breakdown source is mapping to incident channel contact type okay so that's uh, okay now you need to select which indicator it should apply it should apply to number of um, uh, number of open incident okay number of open incident okay and save it and save it so now you created a breakdown okay breakdown source breakdown source breakdown uh, breakdown mapping and added the indicator now go to the indicator go to the indicator number of open incident and click on show analytical hub click on show analytical hub and now you will not see the channel incident channel here okay incident channel now you see unassigned 14 phone self service all these things are automatically coming okay automatically coming okay so now uh, we see we saw there is an uh, in, in the breakdown source or breakdown go to the breakdown go to the breakdown breakdown automated breakdown and search with um, uh, urgency uh, uh, urgency you have incident urgency okay open this breakdown open this breakdown breakdown mapping incident urgency you have okay and there is no indicators here okay for example if i delete this breakdown mapping if I delete this breakdown mapping, okay. Now I want uh, a breakdown for this indicator and breakdown mapping. So what I will do is there is another option. There is another option. The way we can do is edit indicator, edit indicator. In the manage breakdown, unmapped breakdowns so we call it unmapped breakdown. Okay. So we will select urgency. So you have urgency here, this is unmapped, okay? So when you are mapping, then it pop-ups you. Okay, then it pop-ups you and select from incident which one it is. From incident, there is an urgency field, okay? You need to pop-up, select and submit it. And submit it, that is map, okay? That is mapped okay so and go back go back show analytical hub now you will see urgency urgency tickets Okay, urgency, which is high, low, or everything is mapping. Okay, so now edit again, edit indicator, edit indicator. If you remove, uh, for example, if you remove any breakdown from the list, like for example, subcategory, and save. Okay, you want to add uh, this breakdown again, subcategory, then manage breakdown, click on manage breakdown, select a subcategory. So incident, this is, it is showing as mapped only, subcategory, it is mapped, you see, subcategory. So mapped, when we are moving mapped subcategories, okay, so like this, so then it will not ask like to map or anything. Only unmapped uh, categories or unmapped breakdowns, it will ask. Unmapped breakdown means like, for example, if any breakdown mapping is empty here, then you are trying to map in indicators using manage breakdown, then it will, it is called unmapped. Then when you are uh, moving from uh, left-hand side to right-hand side, then it will ask mapping. Okay, because 
it should be done here but here we are we did not do so that's the reason we are doing here in the manage breakdown okay that's it okay that's all about uh breakdown and um, breakdown sources how you map uh, breakdowns okay uh, manage breakdowns how you will link uh, breakdowns to the indicators how you run the jobs okay how you will exclude the data okay uh, so all these things okay all these things it is done it is shown here okay that's it please do subscribe to get alerts for upcoming videos Hope you will enjoy and learn service now. Thank you very much for your time.